All right, my girls are chilling in the camp. Okay, so this means we can go over and get our, um, wizard card then. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoilt brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. So yeah, here we are in the Forbidden Forest. I'm assuming this bit right here is exactly the Forbidden Forest and we don't have to walk over to the Forbidden Forest. But um, yeah, the the annoying thing about this card is it says on here that it's, you have to head left, left at the path, no wait, no, I'm reading wrong one. It says head right at the final junction of the Forbidden Forest. Uh, I don't know where the last final junction is, so. Might be a chance I miss this. Yeah, there's Incendio. We've used it before. So, not too bad. Here, yeah, I remember we have to use Flipendo. Has to be a charged one as well. I think if you just do a normal flipendo, then it kind of just rocks back and forth a bit, kind of implying, please do a sh uh, high, bigger shot on me or something. Quick look around there. <laughs> I know there's nothing there, but you know, it's nice to just look around. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, there's some red jelly beans, so if you missed, like, so say if you um, had a 99, you needed one more, I think there was 100 overall, then you'd just be like, yeah, there we go. Oh shoot. Uh, I could just avoid these, I think. But then again, house points. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll go get the house points. <laughs> go. Bless you. <laughs> I believe there's only two here. Yeah. And the good thing is you get um, Bertie Bot's beans um, by defeating them, so, yep. Some more extras in case you missed. Uh, it is possible to get them before, so... Don't, I wouldn't purposefully wait until now to, you know, finish it off. I'd try and get as many as you can before. But obviously there's a chance that you may miss some from the troll section. Because it's a bit of a troll of a section. <laughs> but... So far, everything here is pretty straightforward, so... Hopefully it's always like this. Then, you know, um... When it comes to heading right at the final junction, it's going to be pretty easy to, you know, pretty easy to find. I don't, is there a... Yeah, there is a target barn, okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. As you all know. Well, I tried doing it on emulator, actually. The target button won't work for me. <laughs> okay, this might be the head right bit. In this game, Harry, Hermione, Hagrid, and Draco go into the forest. Whereas in the book, you also have um, Neville instead of Ron. Uh, in the game, you have Ron. He replaces Neville. Neville was originally there in the book. And there we go. Could collect a potion, but we're kind of at full health, so there's no point really. Uh, I believe it says there's a tortoise or something. Uh, let me see this again. Head right. Uh, yeah, um, you have to. You defeat the um, tortoise, and then once you go through the doorways, you shoot a card down. Okay. So I still got to look for that final junction. Uh, I believe it's this way. If you're wondering where Ron was in the book, he was actually in the hospital wing at this point in time. Oh, there's a tortoise here. How do I 
to feed this thing though? That's the question. Whoa, jeez. Ah, yes, cheers, but. Well, it's a good thing you mix that potion earlier, so once I defeat this, I'll just get that potion. Shoot his butt! Do I have to charge it up? Okay, uh, yeah, let's go back and quickly refill our health. I'm not sure if I actually mentioned this. I probably did, and I'm probably going crazy. <laughs> but um, a good thing about me having it um, so it's live, and then later on doing a bit of post commentary as well, is the fact. Ah, Potter, that oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm basically going to say that if I start talking about something and then after I end up stopping, we'll save point, then, uh, and then after I start rambling on about something else, like, like I always do, and I kind of forget what I'm saying, and I can at least edit in what I was going to say afterwards because I can look back on the recording and then say it in post, so. I guess that's useful. Just hopefully it comes out decently. By this point, probably been about. Three, four parts. So, yeah. It should be Friday today. It's gonna be my guess. It's Friday today. <laughs> Alright. Let's feed this thing. Hendo! There we go. So, yeah, free charged for Pendos to feed them. As you can clearly see. <laughs> I just want to find this wizard card because I feel like I'm going to miss it. Oh jeez. Uh, oh wait! Okay, nope. <laughs> Dead end. I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Sounds like scanning into some serious shiz. But yeah, there's unicorn blood. Just if you wanted like an extra close up look at it, you know. <laughs> so I keep wanting to go right and thinking, oh cool, new junction. Hopefully that's the last one there, and then after, you know. It's not. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I want the I like this game being long, but or somewhat long. But it's just kind of like, I want to get this card because I feel like I'm going to miss it. There's, please tell me that's the right junction. There's, what's this over here? It looks like an alternate way to go, but I don't know. I mean, it's letting me do something, so let's try it. So sometimes it like kind of gets a bit laggy when I'm trying to do that. I know, I don't want to sound like I'm making an excuse, but I swear it just kind of like slows down just a bit sometimes, and my timing just goes off because of that. Okay, I said head right, so I'm gonna just head right, see what happens. This could be it. No! Thank <laughs> you. 
I probably should like keep on target with this because you know I'm still gonna miss <laughs> Come on, one more time. Oh, damn it. Keep hitting the um, fire. There we go. I'm glad that um, the last shot just instantly disappears as soon as you defeat it. Because otherwise you might get hurt during a cutscene. <laughs> Chocolate frog. Maybe this is it. Yeah, there we go. Rowena Ravenclaw. I'm guessing this is character's gonna be the reason why Ravenclaw got that name. Kinda like the Hufflepuff arm that we got last. Rowena Ravenclaw. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I think I might have accidentally called her a he, so she. <laughs> I don't know these, like, I don't, don't know a lot of these characters off by heart, so. Yeah. I think I explained to them how much I know of Harry Potter and stuff like the first part so I'm not gonna go over that again because I guess it could be redundant if you're watching all these at once but if you're just watching anything new that gets uploaded then it's not gonna be redundant because I said that like I don't know how long ago <laughs> but still unless maybe you remember but I don't know oh god damn it <laughs> could I just jump up there actually yeah I can okay I think I just saw a bit of unicorn blood on the floor again there, because you kind of see a little bit of it sparkling. Plus it was white, and there's a unicorn. And the book again. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained that unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. So you name him. <laughs> Just like he must not be oh, named. That was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Volt, I mean, he must not be named, and you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. Oh, I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. Like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. It's like he wants us to get past Fluffy. Hmm. Might have to try that on him. But yeah, 